Hey YouTube, Planetary Nutrition, Brad and Jeff here, another Planetary Review. Today we're going to be reviewing ProSup's Carbolic Carbohydrate Supplement. Carbs. Hey guys, so uh, carbohydrate products are generally used for uh, loading, either pre-race, pre-workout. Uh, another good use is just to drive up the caloric uh, value of say a, say a protein shake or something like that. You want to add something to it to get a few more calories for weight gain purposes. Great also for recovery. Uh, as you're coming out of an event or a hard workout and you want to load up and get those carbohydrates into that muscle for recovery purposes, uh, really great product. I'm not going to say I'm going to use it because if I do that, Brad will beat up on me probably. Yeah, he's got like a top 25 daily supplements here. What can I say? <laughs> I like my subs. Uh, this is something that uh, I, I love to use if, if I were going into a race like a, a triathlon or something like that, pre-event for uh, carb loading. Uh, that's kind of my thing. I think uh, a lot of other athletes would use it post as well. Uh, Brad will go over the ingredients as I prep up over here and get ready for mixing it up for you guys. And I can also say from a bodybuilding standpoint, bodybuilders have to carve up, uh, cyclists as well, any kind of endurance related event, but also bodybuilders prior to the competition, you gotta, you gotta carve up on carbs. And uh, you know, you end up eating, you know, a dozen sweet potatoes a day for the last uh, couple of days or whatever, instead of having to do that, and, uh, you can just take a scoop of this and, and get it done through a liquid supplement that's not going to fill you up quite as much. Um, gets into your muscles really fast. You're looking at muscle growth. You're looking at uh, the glycogen stores being replenished. Um, it's great for muscle growth, strength, endurance. Um, just a great quality product. Quality item, I'd say. Good I'd quality say good item. Quality yeah. item, absolutely. So we're going to mix it up. We're going to see how it tastes. We're going to do the unflavored, which, you know, is unflavored. And uh, lacks flavor, yeah, in other words, but it does come in chocolate, comes in uh, orange, I think it comes in strawberry, fruit punch. I could be off on the strawberry, could be, but fruit. hey, you know what? Does come in orange, does come in fruit punch, comes in unflavored, comes in chocolate. If it comes in unflavored, can't you make it strawberry? You could if you put strawberries in it, just a little bit of syrup. There you go, all right. So let's taste it out, let's see what we got here. Let's this is it. unflavored, so we're gonna see what's up with the unflavored. So guys, we're gonna we're gonna put a scoop of unflavored carb carbolic into this uh, blender cup bottle. Technically, a blender bottle is not necessarily required. Um, it, I would say if you're gonna mix it with multiple products in order to get some some combined products out of there. Are you, you sure it's not required? I'm pretty sure it's not required. But have you tried to mix it with a spoon? Well, no, because I I just sent one of my top 25. So I think a blender <laughs> bottle might be required. All right. Well, we're carbohydrates go tend to not mix well with a spoon, but okay. we're gonna see. We're gonna go with blender bottle. All right. I'm going to go with the blender bottle, got a little bit of water, put about six to eight ounces of water in there. Again, this is our unflavored version. You going to let me try it out? I might give you a sip. You ain't got to shake it for 60 seconds, you know. Well, you know, carbohydrates. But. <laughs> All right, so you can see the color is kind of a, uh, kind of looks like that C4 we did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> looks a little like that. It looks, uh, it's, it's just a, a tan uh, color. It actually mixed up really well. I'm, I'm actually surprised. I mean, for carbohydrate, you know, this is not your typical maltodextrin. Uh, this definitely mixed up a lot finer. Um, so let's give it a, give it a taste, see what it tastes like. Yeah, cheers. cheers. For an unflavored product, it actually has a really good, you know, quality to it as far as flavor goes. I keep coming. I mean, I think it's got a snow cream kind of. Mm -hmm. If you ever made snow, we're in the south, baby, and you <laughs> and you're gonna mix up to some snow if it's if snow. you get snow down here. <laughs> yep. you, you got snow cream flavor. Wow. It does have a little, just a slight grittiness um, to it. I don't think you would. Act, uh, I'm gonna finish mine so they can see what's left. I don't think you would catch that grittiness at all in inside a protein shake. There it is. A little bit left in there, but it's really. I mean, again, for a carbohydrate, very very mixable. Yeah. So I'd say you know, weight gain supplement. If you're trying to make a weight gain supplement that mixes up in your protein shake, that'd be a good way to to grow some muscle and get those calories up as well as you know you could use it dieting as well to, to you know make sure you get your carbohydrates in without the sugar without okay? the fat, yeah. we're taking in too much sugar these days that's why everybody is you know, on the heavier side so, so. 
Hey guys, well, this product is awesome. Um, we like it, we recommend it. We would say uh, go and check out the link below, make sure you subscribe, check out our website, order this as needed. Because real knowledge is for real results.